right, good day, ladies and genitals. I'm here to bring you one of the most important videos you will ever see on Ethereum because Ethereum is currently breaking out bullishly out of this wedge. So in this video, I'm going to run through some tactical analysis. I'm going to run through some caveats and, under, and I'm going to tell you the most important things you need to understand with what's going on with Ethereum, some price targets, and I'm going to tell you why you want to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to be notified of no votes. Because look, folks, I called the last Ethereum dip to the T on March 20th. I was letting our people know if we broke down bearishly, we would retest the low $1,500 range. And guess what? That is exactly what happened. I bought this exact floor. I longed the exact floor. And if you'd been following the channel, you could have gotten in at the very bottom exactly as predicted. Folks, you need to stay tuned to this channel. So I called the last Ethereum breakout to the T. And now it's time to call the next Ethereum move. Folks, stay tuned to this channel. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell notification of new uploads. So we're breaking out bullishly from the wedge. We're constantly breaking above major resistance levels uh, with Ethereum. 1720 to 1750 was a key inflection point, a very price reactive area everywhere we look. We broke above it. We broke above 1780, the VPVR point of control where the most amount of volume was traded. And then we also broke above the key level of 1860 to $1,900. If Ethereum can stay above $1,900, I think we can see bullish continuation. $1,900 is the inf uh, is the inflection point in my opinion in my opinion and of course these peaks are likely to be price reactive and relevant as well. Now, where will Ethereum go if we continue this bullish breakout? Folks, without further ado, I think we're going to see a $2,600 Ethereum in April, late April, early May. Folks, I'm telling you I called the last Ethereum breakout exactly to the T, exactly to the T. I bought the exact bottom. I longed the exact bottom. And now I'm telling you again, if we maintain about 1900, and that's not a guarantee, folks, this could be a fake out. We could always break down. Cryptocurrency is highly volatile. None of this is a guarantee. But if we maintain above 1900, I think we could see that bullish continuation. So, um, what we do when we're trying to gauge price targets from breakouts from uh, wedges or descending triangles, descending triangles, we take the height of the wedge, move it to the breakout point. That's typically where we can move to. But no, we don't have just that to look at. We have a confluence of reasons because, folks, the 1.618 on the Fibonacci extension lines up exactly with $2,600. We have a confluence of reasons, folks. The way you draw a Fibonacci extension that gives you some support and resistance levels and some price targets for bullish breakouts is you take the bottom of the latest, um, well, you can draw it different ways, but you take the bottom of the impulse to the top to the bottom of the retracement, and that gives you some support and resistance levels that are likely to be relevant. I'm also going to distill for you the two most important support slash resistance levels, I believe, for Ethereum. That being the 21 EMA on the 4-hour for short-term movements and the 200 AMA on the 10 hour for long term movements. Let's start off with the 10 hour. We can see how three times Ethereum found support on the 10 hour 200 EMA uh, when we pumped and dumped. We stopped dumping once we hit it. That's where we found a support. Very likely to be an important, relevant level moving forward. If Ethereum ever retouches the 200 AMA on the 10 hour, that is where I'll be buying as well. For understanding short term movements, I believe the 21 EMA on the four hours is probably most relevant. We can see how constantly looking all throughout the price action, it's constantly relevant. When price is below the EMA, it's acting as resistance. When price gets above the EMA, it acts as support. So very relevant levels. Uh, something else you need to understand to try and understand uh, the state of the altcoin market specifically is Bitcoin dominance. If we see a daily candle in Bitcoin dominance calculated by TradingView close below 60%, folks, I think that is when altcoins truly fly. And look, I'm bringing you such gold, such distilled technical analysis. Like I, I was telling my people, we called the exact bottom. Now I think this is the next level. Folks, I want you to do me a favor. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell icon for new uploads. And I also want to thank everyone for bringing us to nearly 20K subscribers. That is absolutely insane. Help us get to 20K, hit that subscribe button. We're so close. Thank you to everyone. Uh, my goal moving forward is to try and make these videos uh, better and provide you guys more value moving forward. Um, the kind of content we've been producing 
is nowhere where we want to be uh, in the future. We're going to stick around and we're going to try uh, to constantly improve and constantly bring you guys uh, greater and greater value. So make sure you stay, you stay uh, with us. Um, now, that is the most important stuff going on with Ethereum. Let's talk about Bitcoin because Bitcoin's in a very precarious state right now. It keeps getting rejected off that $60,000 level. If and when Bitcoin can get above and hold 60,000, I think we're retesting the all-time highs. If and when Bitcoin can get above and hold above 62, folks, I think we're flying because Bitcoin, I believe, is forming a uh, a bull flag here. And whenever we form a bull flag, we take the conservative scenario, which is the height of the bull flag, and we move it to the breakout point. So could we see, you know, a 64,000, 65,000 Bitcoin if we can start to tackle uh, these two key resistance levels? I think so. Now, folks, I want to arm you with one very helpful tool that we've been using on this channel to help inform some of our thought process and some of our research, that being token metrics. Folks, token metrics is an AI fueled price predictions and portfolio suggestions platform. They have, uh, you know, AI price predictions right here. We're looking at what their AI thinks are going to be the top performing cryptocurrencies for investing on a year long horizon. And this is constantly changing, constantly refreshing. So if you want access uh, to one of the most powerful, uh, you know, AI fueled uh, price predictions models that we've uh, gotten to look at, and uh, they also do very helpful code reviews, check out token metrics link down in the description below. They're soon going to be upgrading their platform, increasing the number of cryptocurrencies that they're looking at and um, improving some price predictions models. So they're going to be uh, introducing and rolling out that upgrade to their platform sometime in late April. But if you get in now, you get grandfathered in at the cheaper prices because they're going to be increasing their prices. So if you've been sitting on the fence, if you can easily spare it, we highly recommend token metrics. Link for everything down in the description below. Folks, get grandfathered in at the cheaper prices. We highly recommend it if you can spare it. We use it almost on a daily basis. So folks, that is what's going on with the latest and greatest in cryptocurrency news and technical analysis. Give our Twitter a follow. Link for that down in the description below. Wait, folks, I called the exact bottom for Ethereum. Now I'm calling the exact top for Ethereum. $2,600 Ethereum if we can maintain above $1,900. Until next time, folks, take care.